আসসালামু আলাইকুম ওয়েলকাম টু বিএসএস অনলাইন এডুকেশন আমি বিশ্বাল স্যার ইয়ার মাস্টার টিচার টুডে আই এম হিয়ার টু টিচ ইউ এক্সারসাইজ 7.1 ফ্রম লেভেল আপ লেটস স্টার্ট দা এক্সারসাইজ ওয়ার্ক কোশ্চেন নাম্বার 1 সেভেন ইন দা ডায়াগ্রাম ডিএএ ইজ আ রাইট অ্যাঙ্গেল ডিএএ ওয়ে ইজ আ ডিএএ ইট মিন দা সেন্টার মিডল লেটার ইজ আ রাইট অ্যাঙ্গেল দ্যাটস ওয়ে In this diagram, they are asking to you that you have to mark all the right angle where you get it. This corner, if it's the right angle, the opposite must be right angle as a straight line. So if this is the right angle, the opposite side also be right angle. Because a circle is a 360 degree, four right angles are there. Same way, if, if you can mark these four right angles there, it must be four right angle in this part also. You can see that these corner is a right angle this corner is right angle this one and this one and we all know that right angles we're talking about the l shapes so first one is 10 let's see the question b please in question number b they're telling which line is parallel to uh, the line bj we all know that parallel line is exactly opposite line bj line these line exactly opposite we can see a h line so your answer is a h line so question number one is done. Let's see question number two. In this diagram, first we have to observe that. Now they have drawn hmm, F A D C A D or F uh, D G. These things they're gonna draw that. Let's see the questions what they're asking. Which line is parallel to A F line? What's my F line? This is my F line. This is line, exactly opposite line. You can see D G line, which is called parallel line. DG is your answer of A. Question number B. Which line is perpendicular of A if perpendicular line is a connecting line with the L shapes right angle? If you see that A if line finished in that corner, from this corner we we'll start one more line which is called A D. Perpendicular is a connecting line. So we can say that B answer it's A D. C write down a right angle. Easily we can see that. But even the corners we have here, none of them is a right angle, but only one is a right angle, and they already marked that. So, C A D angle is our right angle. They have written over there. All right, C A D is our right angle. Let's come to question number three, please. In question number three, they have given some angles over there. These angles, they have given some measures, and on top of that, you can see that 35 degrees, 25, 90, 125, 55 degrees. You have to match which degrees, which measuring numbers will be perfect for which angle. So, basic few things, if you know that, right angle means 90 degrees. First, you have to take that, which are the uh, right angle. You can see that this is the less than 90. This is uh, right angle, you can see that. Uh, this corner also with a right angle, it looks like that. And you can see that this shows a reflex angle. We all know the reflex angle is more than 180, less than 360. If you see that more than 180, we have just only one angle, so which is 325. So easily, E number answer we can write 325. And the B answer we wrote it 90. D number also we wrote it 90. We left A and C. Let's see that which. Options gonna be perfect for that. Uh, if you see that acute angle is this, uh, we have a 55 and 35. If you see that the smaller one, we can get it. A answer is 35, and uh, C number. If you see that more than 90, only one option we have 125. So we can say 125 answer is C. Just the basic things. So if you want to see a, if you see that these uh, protector right angle, it's meant this part is our right angle. Okay, so if these angles, some of angles, those are less than these sides, this all are acute. But whenever more than that, it's all are obtuse. Obtuse must be less than 180. If it's 180, it comes straight line. At times, it will not obtuse angle. So, if you remember these protector work, 
which is 90 which is a uh, uh, more than 90 less than 90 so easily we can guess which angles must be in which part so question number three you have done let's see the next question please question number four question four let's uh, describe this uh, diagrams in this diagram you can see that abc is a straight line and the top of that dbe they have drawn an angle which is already marked a right angle and uh, in a corner they have written uh, let's see the questions what they're saying what is dbe dbe they already give the mark this is a right angle sign we already know that we have seen that this is the l shapes so db is a right angle or you can write straight with 90 degree now e b c So E B B we have E E B C forty three that have written the says you have to mark it here. E B D angles is forty three. We are gonna mark on the diagram. C number the says work out A B D these co angles. What should be the size of these angles? So we will know that a straight line is a one eighty degree. So in a straight line we can see that three angles. Uh, is available here. One is 43, one is 90, one is missing. Whenever we add these two and we're going to subtract from 180, easily we can get this as ABD, B angle, this one, DBE, this one, the right angle, and whatever they have given, ABC, 43. So this one, it's uh, 180, total three of them, it's 180. ABD, no, we don't know exactly, but this one 90 and the third one is 43. We will know that. So we're going to put the value over here. These two, if we add and we're going to subtract from 180, that's we're going to get 43. That's mean 43. ABD answer is 43. So let's see the first question number five. Question number five, they have drawn a triangle. In this triangle, uh, they have given A is a 55 degree, B is a uh, they didn't give anything, C didn't give anything, but B is a common. You can see that this is L shapes, L shapes is 90 degrees. Let's see the questions what they're asking. A, B, and B, C is a perpendicular. And what is A, B, C? B angle. A, B, C is a, a right angle 90 degree. We're going to say that this is a L shapes. B number. What is a, a C, B? C angle. What is the size of C? We know that uh, 